Hello guys, it's me again with another video. <laughs> uh, I think I'll do a rant again about a video game. You know what? Usually, I rarely do. I, I rarely talk about games that I don't like because, for the most part, I'm I'm like go with the flow when it comes to games. I. I play the most of the games I get, I enjoy the most of them, I rarely say that this game sucks or anything, I don't usually go that way, but um, this time I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest with you guys, I really don't like this game. And the worst part is that I was really hoping for this one. You know when you're waiting for a game and it came out and it just is more disappointing than ever you thought it would be? Yes, that's this game to me. But I believe we need to go over a little bit of history first. In 2009, it was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 25th anniversary. And with their anniversary on their on with their anniversary, they decided to go fall out, and they they went fall out. People, I can assure you that there was a. They, I think they made a teenage mutant ninja turtle bus that drive around in the U.S. and the U.K. in the U.S. And they re-released their original uh, toy figures. They re-released the action figures, and Ubisoft, who's in these days. They're becoming quite big, Ubisoft. I mean, they're everywhere in these in these times. They got they got the permission to create three Turtles games for one year. Holy shit! I thought three Ninja Turtles game in one year. That's quite a game, actually. But yeah, uh, Ubisoft had earlier worked on the TMNT, which was based on the movie. I'm not going into that one now because, well, those games were okay, but th that's for another time. We got free games. And I won't go into Reshell or Smash Up this time because I have other stuff to say about that. But there was one title that I was really looking forward to, and that was a DS title Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade Attack. Now, this sounds promising. Hell, on the back of the box it says, Classic Turtles, all new adventure. Beat em up in a retro style. Arcade brawler featuring classic and new TMNT characters. <laughs> Holy shit, I thought. This sounds awesome. I gotta get this game when it came out. I mean, it's a beat em up game with the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> and trust me when I say this. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time, is one of my all-time favorite Super Nintendo games. That beat-em-up game has it all. Awesome graphics, wonderful music, excellent gameplay, and just a lot of retrofitting into it. So, can you imagine that on the DS? Holy shit! This is gonna rock, isn't it? Okay. I'm gonna be clear here, people. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade Attack. It may not be the worst Nintendo DS game of all time, but it's the worst Turtle games of all time. And it pains me to say it, people. But Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade Attack is a big disappointment. Now, before you get mad at me, before you get mad at me, if you like Arcade Attack, that's fine by me. But I myself can't stand this game. I mean, not only is it boring, but it's ugly as well. Okay, okay, I know that, I know that the DS isn't, isn't the most powerful machine out there. And I know graphics do not make a game, but this game just, they could have put a lot more work into this one, people. I mean, I mean, okay, let's go over some of the things that's wrong here. First of all, the combat system. It is stinking. You just, you, you run up, you're pressing the B button, and that's it. 
you don't have to use the jump button or the kick button. You can just use the B button all the time. And in this gameplay, it's so repetitive, and there's no feeling in it. You don't feel like you're actually beating the guys. You just... I don't know! It's, it's not fun to play. It's not fun. It's not fun at all. A beat-em-up game, which is boring to beat up bad guys. How the hell do you do that? Ugh. A second problem. Every time your encounter an enemy in this game it goes slow-mo for two seconds and zoom into it which tells you this is the guy you're gonna beat up now this may not sound like a problem in the beginning but it gets so stupid in the game i mean it never stops it slows down constantly you beat up a couple of bad guys you're running forward and it slows down, you beat them up again, and running forward. And it gets so repetitive, and it's so stupid. Oh, God, it's stupid. I mean, th the combat is boring, the graphics, yeah, that's the third problem. The graphics, don't get me wrong, graphics do not make a game. It does not make a game success. I enjoy a game that looks good, and uh, to me, graphics are just a bonus score. If, if, if the game looks good, it gets bonus score for me. Arcade Attack looks like an advanced title. No, I'm sorry, but it just... It does not. I don't feel like I'm playing a Nintendo DS game when I'm playing this title. I'm sorry. And it pisses me off because... This cover looks so promising. This looks like a beat em up of the ages. But you know what? Comparing this game to Turtles in Time on the Super Nintendo. No. No. I'm not even gonna compare it. Because there's nothing to compare. This is not a beat em up. It's a. It's a. It's. I don't know what it is. It's a boring game. And it's pains me to say it. Now, again, it's opinion. If you think that Arcade Attack is a good DS game, that's fine by me. That's totally fine by me. I'm willing to respect you. However, I just feel like it wasn't much work put, put into the combat system. They could have done it so much better. One of my favorite things to do in the original Turtles 4 for the Super Nintendo was to grab a foot shoulder and slam it into the ground like a doll. It was hilarious back then, and it still is hilarious to do it right now. But in Turtles Arcade Attack, there's only like two special moves you can do with your, with your co-op partner. And even though I don't, I don't even know how to do the special moves right, okay? Even when the game tells me how to do it, I can't do it. It doesn't work. And even if you do it, it only works for a couple of seconds. I mean, it's just... Uh... Oh, I'm s I can't believe I was so looking forward to this title when it first came out. Now, I gotta... But I gotta admit, I gotta admit two things here, guys. There are two things that I really like about this game. There are two things. Number one, the cutscenes. They are beautiful well done. They're hand-draw, old-school, black-and-white comic book. That is how you make a cutscene in a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, people. That is the only reason I keep playing this garbage. That is the, because I wanted to see how the next cutscene was fogged out. And it was really well done. They're r awesome to look at. Unfortunately, it's... It is beautiful to look at, I give it that, but the rest of the gameplay, it's just not fun. And I haven't really played this game much. I I beat it like two times and it... Oh, <laughs> Ew. and by the way, you can beat this game within two hours. Unacceptable. Yes, I know, I can beat Turtles in time within a half... A th Within a half an hour, I can beat it that fast. But that game is fun to beat through. This is slow, repetitive, and boring. Don't get me wrong, I love the Ninja Turtles franchise, and I love the most of the game that they have produced. This thing.
finger, however, I can't stand. It, it is just... It is a boring game. And it's... It was the 25th anniversary. I, I just don't get it how they can... Uh, I may be complaining too much here, but... Oh yeah, the second thing that was great about this game. It does have multiplayer with another DS if you have a buddy. But honestly... You, it's, it is not much funny with multiplayer. It is a great idea to use multiplayer in, in the DS because it can do it. Uh, so yeah, but there's only two multiplayers. You can play as four turtles at the same time. This was 2009. Couldn't they honestly fix it up? Ugh, whatever. Yeah, I should also mention the story in this game, but honestly, I kind of like the story in this game because I'm not sure if this is official or something but if you want to put this game chronologically in the TMNT franchise you can say that it's the sequel to the 2003 series because the game takes place right after that don't believe me? well all the characters the bosses look like they did in the, the last uh, seven seasons of turtles of the teenage Mutant ninja turtles from 2003 they look like that and you had your final battle with cyber shredder in cyberspace i'm not sure how cyber shredder came back to life but from what i guess this is a sequel to the series which <sighs> it's it's a little bit fun i guess but the gameplay is repetitive, it's stupid, it has great cutscenes, it has multiplayer, but honestly, no. Okay, don't get me wrong. It's not the worst game on the DS, it's just a really boring turtle game. And it pains me to say it, because I look at this cover and I'm like, holy crap, all four turtles in the city of New York, this is gonna be awesome! <sighs> We haven't had any more Turtles games since Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade Attack, Smash Up, or The Reshell. I really want a new Turtles game coming up, people, because I'm willing to support this franchise, and with the new series and the new movie coming up, there are obviously gonna be more video games, so I guess I have to wait for them. But yeah, um, this is easily the worst Turtles games out there. It's just, it's one of the worst games I've played. Uh, there are some th things to like about it, but honestly, no, I don't like it. But like I said, it's opinions. If you enjoy Turtles Arcade Attack, that's fine by me. Can you please put in the comments why you like it, because I'm really curious. Yeah, it's not the worst, but it's it's the worst Turtles games easily. And I hope that if, we, if you're putting freaking arcade on the cover, I expect some arcade beat em up. This is just a button, button mashing game, alright? And it's... No, I don't feel like I'm playing a Turtles game. At least not an arcade game. Yeah, the cutscenes are well done, the story is okay, but... In a beat em up, I want the gameplay to be good, alright? Now, again, it's not the worst, but as far as Turtles games go, it stinks. Sorry to say it, people. Sorry to say it. Uh, I really don't have much more to say about this game. But if you have something to say about it, why don't you leave a comment in the boxes below and we can talk about it. Uh, let's see, well, I don't know what I'm gonna talk about next time, but it's probably gonna be turtle related, so... Yeah, who knows. Well, see you guys next time. This is Gizmo Guys signing out, saying... Kawabonga!